Hello, it's Pokemon FPS. Today we're going to be looking at the FNX 45. This is the tabletop review, and we're going to break it down, and I'm going to show you some things I don't like about it and that I love about it. So first off, I'm a big about the uh, manual safeties. This has an ambidextrous manual safety. Switch from either side. We'll cock it here, and then you push down on this. It's also a decocker. So that's that's nice. You can turn it on safe, put it on fire, decock it. Um, so that's really nice. And uh, yeah, so the FNX 45, if you guys don't know already, uh, it comes with three 15 round magazines, which is pretty good capacity. Um, it's one of the highest 45 capacity 45s on the market today. Now, I really love how they did this multi Picatinny rail, so you really get options up front. I don't know why a lot of a lot of uh, gun manufacturers only put one, but they did that in the front. They put multiple, so that's nice. Now, I'm going to break down the pistol. Breaking down the pistol is just like an XD. Rack this back, and then push the slubber down, and then. Hit sl slide release, pull it back, slowly let it go forward. You just simply slide it off. So I'll put the slide, the the frame aside, and we'll take a look at the slide. So with the FNX 45, it comes with a metal guide rod, and I like that because all if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I replace those stupid plastic guide rods. Yes, they work. I've had no problems with them, but I'm just nitpicky. I love the metal guide rod. Now that's what I love about this, but we're going to show you what I really don't like about it. The barrel is a little thin on, thin for me. Um, it's, it's a pretty thin barrel for a 45, but you know what? It shoots accurately. I haven't heard of anybody having problems with them. Um, somebody had a barrel obstruction. It did bulge, but it did not blow up. So I guess it's thick enough, but I would like to see it a little bit thicker but I know that would add on a lot of weight but you know what that's just me being nitpicky me being me but overall it's been a reliable pistol I've had no jams with the FNX 45 uh, it's been good to go I, I know you guys have been waiting a review for a while so now I finally got a review so um, before I put the slide on we'll look at the internals the internals look wonderful it looks well third up, thought out with a great oiled mechanical machine. The rails are a little bit longer than the normal stubs. I like that. Um, that's very cool. And then you got two little ones back here. I wish they would have made these a little bit longer. They And they do have space to make them a little bit longer. But other than that, it, you know, it works. There's nothing wrong with it. It works. It's just me being nitpicky, like always. Like I'm always talking about me being nitpicky. So then we'll put it back on. You simply rack it all the way back flip that switch up just the opposite of disassembly so some of you guys are probably gonna ask about this why ain't mine colored tan like that when I get the tan lower It's because I, I I get the I found I actually found the color and did it myself so it matches it pretty good but to caulk it I love that decocking function it's awesome so the FNX 45 I recommend this, highly recommend this if you're a 45 fan and, and highly recommend it if you're looking for an X pistol and you don't know what to get. Um, I got to admit this thing is bulky, but it's kind of, you know, it's a 45, so it's meant to be bulky. Um, the grips are pretty, it's a pretty fat grip. The frame is pretty damn wide, but if you get off, you know, if you get really away from that, um, and plus I like how it has serrations. You can't see really on the camera, but the serrations in this, so it eliminate, helps eliminate glare. It's just a three, three dot average, you know, sight post. But, um, no, if you get past the point of it being a little chubby, um, like, um, Colin Noir, or if I'm pronouncing that right, sorry if I'm not. I uh, pretty much said in his video, he always makes the pistols that he shoots sound great. But it's pretty much that cute, chubby girl that uh, you really like with a good personality. And it ain't afraid to show it. 
I know it's not for his words, but this is kind of my interpretation of it. Got smaller hands, I wouldn't recommend it, but for you guys with decent, medium to large hands, this pistol is awesome. So the FNX 45, I recommend it to the people with bigger hands. Uh, now if you have really small hands, don't get it because it'll be too big for you. But overall, it's a great pistol, awesome pistol. Um, and I really like it. I really want to get an FNX 9. I really want to get one. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to shoot it yet, but hopefully down the road I'll get the opportunity to shoot an FNX 9, but from the reviews, and if it's anything like this, it's going to be awesome. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and um, I hope this helped you guys pick out, or at least think about the FNX 45, and if it's for you.